Hello everyone, Timer over here, and welcome! Today we are going to be taking a look at the new Surviving Mars Green Planet expansion slash DLC. I was fortunate enough to get a early uh, key for this, for the game. Uh, take a look at it, and I'm planning on releasing this video tomorrow, which is release day. So if you're just seeing this on the channel, uh, you can head over to Steam right now and get the game yourself. But we are going to go ahead and take a quick look here. Uh, we'll, pro we'll start a new game, but I've literally not played the Green Planet or really looked at any videos of it. Um recently because I wanted to sort of play around with it my own I figured let's do a quick video on it so we will we'll play around a little bit in this intro video but I do plan on streaming this this game later on today at which point we will probably uh, start a fresh game or potentially continue where we left off we'll have to see how we feel at the time but uh, for now we're gonna just uh, take a look and see what we can see here um, moving forward Let's go uh, mission sponsor. So there are a couple, you know, things here. We got a new mission sponsor, Terraforming Initiative. It's a normal difficulty. Uh, some of the perks here, all terraforming techs, which are a new technology tree in uh, Green Planet here, uh, are 50% cheaper for research. Forestation plants do not require power. Can import RC dozers from the start uh, and some text. We've got Martian vegetation unlocked and interplanetary object or projects unlocked as well. So we're going to go with that. Take a look at the new initiative there. Commander profile. We've got a new geoengineer, uh, which sends import costs reduced by 50%. Bonus prefabs, 2x GHG factory and forestation plants, which I'm not sure what they are, but they're new and they deal with the whole, you know, planet, um, terraforming of Mars and all that stuff, which is very interesting. Design forestation, newly groomed forests have a chance to spawn vistas and research sites, which is pretty cool. Um, in terms of mystery, we're going to keep it on random game rules. We're not going to select anything. Rival colonies, all that good stuff is fine. We'll keep that going. Uh, and let's go next. So this is our first payout or payload here. What was our... Um, Rockets. Yeah, we got two rockets with with this group. All right, excellent. Um, so what we what do we want to bring? I think I'm just gonna leave the the default loadout f on hand um, for now, which is fine. We have a second rocket. We can always send some more stuff, which we will, because we're gonna want an RC explorer and potentially a transport. The dozer can transport waste rock that is used for landscaping tasks, but can he transport other stuff? I'm not sure. We'll have to we'll have to see. Because if he can transport other stuff, then I don't think we really need to worry about um, the RC transport. But for right now, that's okay. So we'll see here. Uh, randomize some stuff. It's not a very huge difficulty, but honestly, I'm fine with this. We'll just go with this with this uh, setup here. Again, we're just sort of playing around, getting a feel for it. Um, I want to start... Oh, look at that. That is so nice. No more red Mars. We are now going to go towards green Mars. Um, anywho, what was I saying? I don't remember. Anywho, we are welcome to Mars, Commander. Alrighty. We got all these new little blips and warnings and so on and so forth. So let's take a look here. Terraforming introduction. To terraform Mars and create Earth-like environment for colonists, you have to gradually increase the four global terraforming parameters. Atmosphere, temperature, water, vegetation. Terraforming is a long process. Once complete, humans can start living outdoor, outside domes. Start by researching the terraforming technology when ready. Further terraforming info is available in the encyclopedia. Okay. Get rid of you. Exploration we'll need to deal with. Um... But I'm going to go ahead and just take that out because we all we all know that already. Uh, terraforming hint, terraforming buildings. Terraforming buildings are now available. Construct them to produce seeds, affect local soil, quality, and vegetation, and to increase the four global terraforming parameters, atmosphere, temperature, water, and vegetation. Check the terraforming build menu section. Each building tooltip provides further information. Cool. Sounds great. Uh, Martian vegetation research. 
Congratulations, you have successfully successfully made the first step towards turning Mars into a lush green haven. Heaven. You have unlocked the seeds resources that can be imported from Earth. Seeds are stored into specialized storages and used by forestation plants and open farms for planting vegetation outside the domes. Most plants require some terraforming progress to be made. Check out the atmosphere, temperature, surface water, and vegetation. Uh, improving these terraforming parameters will improve the productivity of the of the buildings, decrease the severity of disasters, and ultimately may render Mars lush, breathable, and covered with liquid oxygen. Cool. Uh, do we actually have a place down here? I don't look like it. Planetary view. Overall terraforming progress. Yeah, right there. Cool. What's this? Import greenhouse gases. Send a refurbished rocket to gather greenhouse gases from Earth's atmosphere and then dump them on Mars, improving the atmosphere. This action may cause toxic rain that are that are harmful to soil quality. Uh, okay, so I guess we need some sort of expedition to go that way, which, you know, is down the line. New special project, capture ice asteroids. Uh, crash ice asteroids on Mars' surface to improve the water levels of the planet. This action may cause a Mars quake disaster. Mm. Okay. Well, you know, progress is progress. No Arca. Okay, so one other thing that has changed is we've got a new screen here for research. So it used to go this way, side to side, left to right. Now it's going up to down imagine that um and yeah we now have the terraforming technology tree here so we've already got martian vegetation uh which allows new resources seeds used to plant vegetation on mars can be bought from earth or grown in farms so we can now apparently grow them um and we have a forestation plant and so on and so forth looks like uh we've got what 50 percent is this that are like 50% done already, I suppose. Yeah, so we've got some towards topo topology AI, I guess. Drones work faster on landscaping projects. We also come with the interplanetary projects, unlocks the import greenhouse gases, improves atmosphere and capture ice asteroids, improves water, uh, special projects accessible via the planetary view. If you want to lift yourself up, lift up someone else. Booker T. Washington. All right. Um, so out of the line here, do we want to get this drones work faster on land landscaping projects? Again, I don't know if that's going to be optimal. I don't know. I mean, we have, are we going to be doing a lot of landscaping projects right now? I don't know. Um, our other options here, the low G fungi, fungi, which, you know, can probably be held off a little bit oh and we also have the breakthrough tech here newly grown forests have a chance to spawn vistas and which is part of being um our our sponsor don't really have the people yet for that so probes are cheaper and can deep scan that would be nice but we're not you know it is what it is all right i guess what we'll, we'll just queue up you know a number of these we'll finish this and that's going to be fine I'll be happy with that. And here's our starting location. So one thing that we can do is we've got pretty decent. We've got concrete, which is fine, uh, and some rare metals there, which is good, as well as some research. I, I see no reason not to go here. Um, but what I might do, just to try to, to see if we can get water right off the bat. So right here, we've got a chance at water. So I'm gonna actually use one of our probes to probe this location. Boom, we get to scan water and get the milestone achievement to get water, which is just fantastic. So we've got these orbital probes here. Uh, might as well use them. Maybe we can find more water nearby or something along those lines. Hey, look at that, right there. Last one, um, eeny meeny. Actually, there's potential water right there, so let's do that. Very good start. Excellent start. So let's go just all around the area like we usually do. Excellent. We'll zoom in. So we've got water here. We've got good bits of metal here. Average, very high, um, and average underground metals. Man, this is a really good start. Again, this is not the hardest map either. So, <laughs> you know, we're, we're just learning here. So this is fine. Got some research, research. All right, well, I'm fine with just landing wherever, actually. Um, 
just try to capture a lot of this in our range would be ideal. Yeah, this will be fine. Um, I mean, we'll probably... Where are we going to want our first dome, I suppose, is, an, is a question. Uh, I can actually put that down. Because I usually like doing that. Uh, research, moisture farming, self-sufficient dome. What? Uh, contains a small dome suitable for the early days of the colony together with water and oxygen producing facilities and storage. Construction layout. Places the following buildings. Small dome, moxie, two moisture vaporators. Oxygen. Oh, that's really nice, actually. Oh, that is really nice. So it basically is a regular dome, but you, you know, puts all those buildings down that you actually would want <laughs> normally uh, do anyway. Because I always ended up putting those moxies and vaporators and so on and so forth. But no, that's really good. You need to have all the technology to do that, which we don't have, but you know. So this would get us the research bit as well as those, but it's not going to get us the, the metals, which I think are more important, honestly. I'd like this research, but that might have to wait because we probably will want the, the the metals before we do anything along those lines. So, you know what? That's fine. Let's put this down. I'm going to go ahead and just drop you right here. I'll put you right there. Sure. All right, so we've got that going. Uh, new anomalies. We don't have a person yet, or a, um, a researcher, or explorer. But I want to see. I want to see if our if this thing can move, move stuff. Uh, you can't build. You can't transport. Load resources. You can only load. Okay, you can only load um, waste rock. So, like, I can't have you pick up this stuff. So, yeah, you're kind of useless for right now. Uh, we are going to go ahead and send a cargo rocket filled with an RC Explorer and an RC Transport. I really like having these uh, in the beginning. And I think that's going to be <clears throat> A-OK. -okay. Um, let's get a few more bits and bobs of resources here. RC Dro Dover, we don't really need. Um, food, meh. Should be alright. Do we want any more drones? Do we really only have two? Or is that just two extra? In fact, I want to take a look at that. How many drones do we actually have in our network right now? Uh, drone rockets. Yeah, we literally only have two drones. Oh, wow. Yeah, we need some more drones. Um, so let's get another cargo rocket. Let's get a RC Explorer, RC Transport, and just get a handful of, of these guys. Do five. And then, yeah, just a, just a handful of other resources here. That'll work. Launch. Um, might as well get one more drone. All right. I like it. Launch that. Uh, looks like our spaceships are green, which is really cool. Excellent. All right. So, sector has been scanned. More water right there. Excellent. Well, yeah, that's not actual scanning, so we're fine. All right. So there's not much we can do but our usual setup here. So let's just do a... Um, uh, let's get a universal research or re universal storage bin right there. And hopefully... 
Yeah, we'll start unloading resources, getting all this set up. We'll need to get power. Uh, terraforming hit. Global param uh, parameter, vegetation. Vegetation parameter represents the spreading and diversity of vegetation and bacterial life on the planetary scale. Its improvement both boosts local vegetation growth and speed and spread. Vegetation is increased by working forestation plants and by completing special projects. The vegetation tooltip provides further information. Cool. Cool, cool. So, yeah, I think... Now uh, we might, now we probably, we'll start, ooh, world just got a little bit lighter or something, I don't know. Uh, new resources, seeds, seeds are now available, seeds are a new resource which can improve local soil and quality, import seeds from earth and grow them in farms, increase soil quality, temperature, water parameters, okay, yep. Not really, not really able to do that just yet um, until these guys come. Yeah, there's not much we can really do with this thing. I assume. I mean, Waste Rock works on landscaping projects. I mean, where do I see landscaping projects? Ah, landscaping. Marks two flat surfaces to be constructed with passable ground by drones. Consumes Waste Rock to raise terrain. Cool. Small rock formation. Small stylish rock for Martian. Change surface. Mark the top layer of a surface to be rearranged by the drones. The marked ground will gradually change towards the desired tech. Okay. Sand, red sand, mixed sand, mountains. Interesting. Rock formations. Okay, so that's something you can actually do with your waste rock then. Uh, yeah, we don't want that. Flatten. I mean, I guess we could flatten this. Is, I mean, is that is that possible? It's cool that we can actually do this. Like, could I not flat? Marks a flat surface to be extended into the neighboring terrain by drones consumes waste rock to raise terrain we don't actually have waste rock change surface so that's just well might as well let's, let's see what this does boom oh shoot so i can drag this around interesting all right let's do that let's see if we can like do this Uh, cool. <laughs> yeah, he's filling up on Waze Rock. Look at him. Look at him go. Cool. Hey, achievement. Move this mountain. Excellent. Uh, did you actually do something? Like, with this thing? Not sure what just happened. We removed that, but I don't think we removed this. Oh, well. Uh, let's go ahead and land this guy right there, right next door. And uh, get our other things, our transporter and our other drones and so on and so forth. Excellent. All right, so transport's done. Let's get you to pick up everything you can and bring it over there. Let's get some production going on concrete. What is this? That's high production. And high production there. All right, tell you what, let's uh, let's go with this first. Uh, I don't want that. I want it to be out of range. Go with that. That will work. Opening the build menu. Really? Okay, that's fine. Global parameter water. All right, we're we're fine with this. All right, excellent. Explore, you can go around and explore now, and things can start to get built. Perfect. Happy. All right. Uh, t -t 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 -ch. Yeah, we'll have to figure out where we want our first dome. I'm thinking, like, right here. Let's get this t -t 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 -ch. landscape. Hmm, terraforming. There we go. So consume seeds to plant wild vegetation. Increases local soil quality. 
Plants will wither or grow according to local soil quality and global temperature, and water improves global vegetation if it's less than 40%. Doesn't work during dust storms and toxic rain. What does this do? GHG factory. Burns a mixture of fuel and locally extracted carbon to release greenhouse gases, effectively improving the global temperature. Has significantly boosted terraforming effect at low temperatures. Yeah, capital city, we need, to, we need breathable atmosphere. We're a little bit behind on that. Uh, luckily, we do have this water right here. It's really low water, though. We'll go with this one because it's just low, not very low. All right, so we'll we'll try to set up some of these some of these things fairly quickly here. Uh, can't get that. Let's get um, a water extractor. We don't actually. We didn't bring a moisture evaporator. Seriously, it's not a big deal because we've got this. Okay, go with that. We need Research some power. Complete. Milestone achieved. Resources Drones are Drones faster low. work on landscaping projects. Milestone scan anomaly. Yeah, we need more stuff. We've anomaly analyzed. Mission control. We've got Explorer bad news. The RC Explorer investigated the anomaly. Accident accidentally released a released rocket. A pocket pocket. Of high gas. Uh, expect fierce dust storms into the form of anomaly location. Really? Son of a bugger. Oh well. Um, yeah, we need some power. So we got two sterling generators. So I guess we can just go ahead and plop that down. Let's get a few of these going now. Um, I want you. Sector scanned. Let's cancel this. Cancel that. Link up there. Let's just bring a, a line of power there. Research cooperation. A new deep space technology will be launched to scan the cosmos from a point even further out than Mars. The company behind the telescope, Lambda Industries, has partnered with our sponsor to share the financial burden. Our sponsor, not to waste an opportunity to help their most ambitious project, says the splitting of the launch bill will basically pay for a single supply pod they can fill with cargo of their choosing. What do we pick? Do we? We could use some help with sector scanning. Um, some extra resources would be welcome. We could always find a new use for an extra transport. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna go with this. Some extra resources, I think it's the best option. At least just, you know, out of my own uh, opinion. Um, dun, 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 dun. Let's go there. And yeah, we need to then get some power routed over here. Something like that. You're going, you're going to get built up as well. You can go ahead and deconstruct. Oops. Let's get that going here. Sterling generator can then be placed, say, right there. Get some power happening. Um, let's get some power accumulation going on. We need this thing up and running. Oh, shoot. Well, well, well. Um, we need some concrete, apparently. All right. Well, <clears throat> let's uh, let's disconnect this <laughs> and just go this route. And then we'll just pull off that down somewhere else. Um, how about... Right here. Right there. And then I will just take this over that way. All right, now we've got some concrete. We get some water up in this place. Go here, go there, and then all the way down there. We've got power. That is charging. Excellent. Let's get a one of these. Get a moxie started. Cool. All right. Um, and where is my transporter? Let's get all of the stuff that we can get and 
moved over there. Uh, explore, continue on your exploration journey. And we need, whoa, hello, meteor. Um, I need oil refinery just to get this thing pumping ASAP. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not sure where exactly we're going to want our complete. our dome, Beyond our first dome. Uh, it might have been over here. Domes, basic domes. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. I mean, I can put it right there. That's not a big deal. Yeah, probably put it like right there. But I'm going to turn this off for right now. Just because we need more material happening here. Building not working. Uh, anomaly gained. Low G fungi is done. Head over here. Get this. Did we get a breakthrough yet? Nope. No breakthroughs. It's a shame. All right. Excellent. You don't actually have power. Why is that? Oh, uh, we, we have insufficient power. So let's open that up. Let's get a These little bit more power. Now. Bang for a buck. Excellent. All right. Things I'm are happening. What is this? Machine parts. Yeah, we should probably set up proper um, storage areas and storage tanks and so on and so forth. But it is what it is. All right, you're going to get built up first by the looks of it. Yeah, refueling. It's going to take a long time to get that going. But we're at least starting to accu um, accumulate some stuff here. Let's get a water tower as well. Right there. So we can start banking some water as well here. So now that we have that, we can actually start the terraforming stuff. Um, so if we look... That's not what I want. Terraforming. Uh, consume seeds to plant wild vegetation, increasing local soil quality. So I guess we can put one of these down? I'm not sure the best placement for it, but sure, let's do that. Uh, you, RC Dozer... Let's unload your resources. You have a ton of, like, this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead. Huh. Uh, hmm, where do we want this? Probably off to the side somewhere. I mean, honestly, this vista, though, would be pretty nice. Because alternatively, we could do something like this. We get the vista, so comfort would be increased. We get the the tech, so things would be more techy. Actually, kind of want to do that. Be our first thing. We don't get the metals, but I mean, we can we can exploit this the the. Um, the metals on the surface a little bit longer i think and mining this out is just as fine because we can purchase metals as well so we might do something like that and then set this one up as our second dome down the line i think that's going to be good but i think we've gone on long enough as this first little uh look here i don't think we actually have any seeds maybe we should have brought some seeds what do you need per se lichen you're not working because you don't have any seeds. So, yeah. Huh. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in the video um, and deal with this, I think, at a later time. And again, later on today, expect a stream on the channel for this game. Uh, so I hope you're enjoying this. Hope you're going to like this series. But we'll, we'll take care of it then. So we'll see you next time, folks. Bye-bye.